welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Hi everyone. In our last video, we explored the hemagglutination assay and how it helps us detect and measure viruses. But here's the thing. Just knowing a virus is present isn't always enough. We need to know whether our immune system can actually fight it off. That's where today's technique comes in. The hemagglutination inhibition assay, or HAI assay. This is the gold standard for measuring immunity against viruses like influenza. The HAI assay is basically the HA assay with a twist. Instead of just testing virus and red blood cells, we add a third player, antibodies. Remember how viruses use hemagglutinins to stick to red blood cells and cause clumping? Well, antibodies can block this process. They bind to those viral proteins and prevent them from grabbing on to the red blood cells. Think of it like putting mittens on the virus. It can't grab anything anymore. How does the HAI assay work? The setup is similar to the HA assay, but with an extra step. First, we take our serum sample. This could be from a patient's blood or maybe from an animal that's been vaccinated. This serum contains the antibodies we want to test. We do serial dilutions of this serum across a micro titer plate. Each well has half the antibody concentration of the one before it. Next, we add the same standardized amount of virus into every well. To get this right, we use the HA assay. It tells us exactly how much virus we need to add. Then we let the antibodies and virus incubate together for about 30 minutes. This gives the antibodies time to bind to the virus. Finally, we add red blood cells to every well and wait another 30 to 60 minutes. Now here's where it gets interesting. If there are enough antibodies in a well, they block the virus completely. The red blood cells can't clump, so they sink to the bottom and form a tight dot, just like in the negative control. If there aren't enough antibodies, some virus remains free to cause hemagglutination. The red blood cells spread out in that familiar thin layer. The HAI titer is the highest dilution of serum that still completely prevents clumping. The higher this number, the more antibodies are in the sample. For example, if clumping stops at a 1 to 320 dilution, that's an HAI titer of 320. The HAI assay is a perfect example of how adding one simple step, mixing antibodies with virus before adding red blood cells, can completely change what we're measuring. Instead of just detecting virus, we're now measuring immunity. If you want to go further into the technical details, check out our full blog post linked in the description. And if you're running your own HAI experiments, don't forget about the HAI Titer Calculator in our VRSXP platform. It'll save you time on all those dilution calculations. Thanks for watching. See you next time.